My mother was very careful to make sure that I was not treated differently from my brother. My mother always felt that the same opportunities that she was affording him, she was gonna to give to me even though I was female. Every Halloween, we always had the snazziest costumes. And one year, I said, can I be Uncle Sam? And she didn't say to me, no, you can't because you're not a boy. She said, sure, you can be anything you wanna be. I mean, and that's what she told me all my life. You can be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. All you have to do is work hard. My fellow citizens, I proudly accept your nomination for Vice President of the United States. She had an impact. She had an absolute impact on the American public, whether they voted for her or didn't vote for her. She was the most famous face for women in politics and inspired others to run. Are you with us? <laughs> then let's go! What it really encouraged, I think, that may have been more powerful was women to see themselves differently in every sector. I'm delighted that there is no longer that big sign outside that door that says, white male only need apply. She spent her entire adult life both building her own American dream and trying to give it to other people. It's time to see all the colors of the rainbow when we utter the words, we the people of the United States. It didn't end on election night. Jerry really helped break through the glass ceiling. What Jerry did was not only to lay the groundwork, but also to lay down a marker that we can't go back. When they write the history of gender in American politics 100 or 200 years from now, the first woman president will be the most significant figure, the second will be Jerry Ferrara.